with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom from the new show, The Ultimate Surfer, Jesse Palmer. Welcome to the show, man. How you doing? Dude, Mario, thanks so much for having me on, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, congrats on the new show, Ultimate Surfer. I love surfing. This is fun. And, I, and I, I'm trying to think, has there been a surfing show before? There hasn't really been a surfing show, right? Yeah, I don't think so. This show is pretty unique because it kind of incorporates a lot of shows that I think viewers at home will be pretty familiar with. So it's like a surfing show meets Big Brother meets Bachelor in Paradise, essentially, is wow. sort of what this is. Got it. And uh, how, how does it work? So 14 of the best surfers in America, seven men, seven women, they come from Hawaii, California, Florida, Puerto Rico, all coming together, competing in surfing to become the ultimate surfer, win $100,000, uh, and get a spot on the World Surf League Championship Tour, which is, you know, that's the pinnacle of surfing, yeah. professional surfing. It's essentially like the NFL of surfing. So there's lots on the line, but you get 14 really good looking people all living together, Anything can happen. So we got lots of drama in the water, out of the water, uh, because there's so much on the line. And that essentially is what the show is. And I'm assuming you're hosting, Jesse? I'm hosting this show, Mario. I grew up in Ottawa, Canada, which is the mecca of pro surfing, as we all know. <laughs> so I did I did absolutely this much growing up as a kid. Right. I was a snow I was a snow surfer. It's like I think we call that snowboarding. Right. But it's funny, man. Like since I played football with the Gators and then the New York Giants, I've ordered I've always kind of been a, a fan of surfing from a distance. And Kelly Slater is a name to me. That was a guy that I sort of looked at, I admired. He's like the Michael Jordan of professional surfing. He's won 11 world champions. Championships. He's totally transcended the sport. So when I found out that he was a part of this and we were going to be filming this show at his surf ranch in California, I just knew this was something that I absolutely had to be a part of. Oh, I'm excited to hear that he's a part of it. I didn't want to ask and I was going to be disappointed if he wasn't because I would venture to say, because I do love surfing and being a Southern California kid, I would actually say not only is Kelly one of the best surfers of all time, definitely the best, but just all around best athletes really is the, w the way he's been able to stay on top for so long. It's just unbelievable. And the things he's been able to do, I, I honestly, I did put him in there in the Mount Rushmore for best athletes. I don't, that's not far fetched, right? No, I think you're absolutely right. And I think the thing that's really cool about Kelly, when you get to kind of know him and, and you're around him, you see he's got this crazy laser focus and mm -hmm. mental toughness that so many of the great athletes have, right? Like I think like my childhood growing up and people, you know, being Canadian, Wayne Gretzky and then Michael Jordan, we mentioned Tom Brady today, they all sort of have that too, that it factor. Mm -hmm. That's something Kelly has, which is why I think he's a big reason why he's been so successful for so many years now in a sport exactly and um as opposed to those guys too i always think individual sports right because there's so many factors that go in as you know to team sports but as an individual sport and to stay on top for so long incredibly impressive so that's cool that he's involved serious credibility right there uh where'd you find the other servers as opposed to or not as opposed i should say aside from america where are the best ones come from well, I think on this show, mostly everybody's American. We got one guy coming in from Puerto Rico as well. And our surfers basically come from all different walks of life mm. uh, and all different levels of surfing. We have some of the competitors on the show that have actually already been on the World Surf League Championship Tour. So they've been there and they know by winning this, they get a chance to get back on it. The championship tour is so hard to get to. It's expensive, yeah. you have to travel. It's so competitive, as you know. So I think for them, that's really, really unique too. But I think for, for viewers at home, really, I mean, you don't have to be a crazy surf fan to watch and like this show. I think what's cool is that a lot of people are gonna connect with our surfers because they all have their own individual story. They all come from different backgrounds and. A a lot of them have had to sort of navigate a different path getting to this point. Some have had to deal with different personal obstacles, some different traumas they've had to get over to get here. And everyone has their own why, why they're doing it, why this means so much to them. This really is a once in a lifetime opportunity for our seven men and seven women. And there's so much on the line. And I think those personal stories and connections, I think, will really uh, resonate with a lot of people at home. Yeah, no, it sounds very cool, man. Have you, um, have you tried it now? Have you, have you gotten out there? I've tried surfing. I wasn't able to surf on this show because they were afraid I was going to get hurt. I probably would have pulled, I, I might've torn a couple ACLs. We all know that would have happened inevitably. Uh, it would have been worth it though. So inevitably Mario, I'm the guy that's like hosting the show, tons of FOMO. 
I've just got all this envy on the sideline watching yeah. all these beautiful people in the water doing what they're doing. Kelly's out there. Billy Kemper was like one of the best big wave surfers in the world. He comes on the show and right. they're just like the surf ranch is like one of the most amazing places in the world. It's like seven football fields long. Water's like glass. It wow. makes the perfect wave every time. And I'm just I'm just kind of there on dry land, just telling myself off because because I'm just jealous. Well, the thing is about surfing, and I'm sure this show will inspire a lot of people to try it, is you can suck, and it's still a lot of fun. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You don't even have to. I'm over there with a the big board, and I'm still having a good time, you know, just being out in the sun and with the water and everything. It's fa it's fantastic. Uh, Jesse, I want to talk a little football. Um, nice. how, how do you uh, how do you feel about my Chargers? Do you, do you think they have a really legitimate shot this year? So I I love the Chargers. I love your quarterback. You've got Justin Herbert, the rookie of the year. And he's, I think, going to be your guy for years and years and years. And it's now just about building the team and the pieces around him. You've got so many weapons to throw to right now. I feel like the Chargers are doing that. The only problem I have with the Chargers, Mario, uh -oh. is that you you play in Patrick Mahomes' division. I know. We can't help that. I know. But you know what? Remember when Herbert in the first game out, he didn't even have any reps. He was winning most of that game. They barely know. The game. There was some coaching error. So I'm not scared of him. I think I think our guys are going to be fired up. We'll I see. do, too. I, I like I like the Bolts this year. I like the Bolts this year. I think we, we could see a little sneaky playoff run from the Bolts. Good. I like that. I like that. I like that right there. Um, You got engaged a little while back, huh? I got, yes, I was engaged a few years ago. We were supposed to get married in France last summer. My, uh, she's Brazilian, so we couldn't do it, obviously, with COVID. We were supposed to do it again this past summer. Had to cancel that again because oh, couldn't get her family there. And I, I, I have my friends in Canada, couldn't get there. So yeah. Emily and I actually, we actually got married secretly and privately last summer. Really small, intimate thing. And uh yeah, and we're gonna, we're, we're, you know, I want to do something with the family next next summer in France. That, that's that's the idea. Do something really kind of tight, and just so that our, our parents can be there. But yeah, man, married life. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm just wearing it. You're in it. <laughs> it's You're in great. it. I'm in it. I know. For you. Well, congratulations uh, on the marriage. Congratulations on the show. The Ultimate Surfer is the name of it. Be sure to check it out Mondays and Tuesdays on ABC. Jesse, thanks for checking in, man. Thanks so much, brother. We'll see you. On with Mario Lopez.